As you can see, I'd like to stay here at the Mardi Gras forever, but there's a Disneyland train leaving from the Western Station right away, and we don't want to miss that. It's taking us to more, an exciting land, so take it away on the train, Ronnie Regan. Thanks, Bob. This is the Western Railway Station. And this is the C.K. Holiday, the Disneyland Freight. And it's on its way now, leaving Frontierland and going a hundred years into the future to Tomorrowland. One minute from now, Walt Disney will present a preview of Tomorrowland and the fascinating world of the future in the year 1986. <laughs> dedication. A vista into a world of wondrous ideas, signifying man's achievements. I thought I got a signal. Before our preview of Tomorrowland, I'd like to read these few words of dedication. A vista into a world of wondrous ideas, signifying man's achievement, a step into the future with predictions of constructive things to come. Tomorrow offers new frontiers in science, adventure, and ideals. The atomic age, the challenge of outer space, and the hope for a peaceful and unified world.
those doves are, ladies and gentlemen, I hope the harbingers of peace for the world of tomorrow. And now, here in Disneyland, the year is eight, 1986. 1986, that's way ahead. And that's when Halley's Comet will flash past the Earth again. And the time of its arrival will be recorded on a futuristic clock like this one here, which tells you, incidentally, at a glance, the exact time on any spot on the Earth. Yes. This is Tomorrowland. And it's not a stylized dream of the future, but a scientifically planned projection of future techniques by leading space experts and scientists. Now, whether you visit this spot, the spaceport of the future, to experience the thrills of a rocket trip to the moon, or perhaps you go to see the Circle Rama, that's a motion picture screen that completely encircles the audience, or perhaps this 70-foot model of a rocket-powered ship poised to blast off into outer space, you find yourself living predictions of things to come. Well, uh, further out, just beyond here, next to Tomorrowland, is Autotopia, and that's the superhighway of the future. Art Linkletter will be along shortly to tell you all about it. each of our 48 states. The flags now being unfurled are the efficient colors of the 48 states of this nation. It's appropriate that the Eagle Scouts handle this ceremony because these boys represent the citizens of the future. The world of tomorrow belongs to them. And now we'll take you into the future again and the aluminum exhibit and show you the aluminum telescope. Bob Cummings, take it away. Well, we have here several exhibits that show you all about an atomic chain reaction. And uh, here I have in my hand a... Uh, oh, hello, oh, How do you do, Professor oh, Haber? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to pre uh, present to you a gentleman of, of considerable renown. This is Dr. Heinz Haber and I'm sure you will remember him from Walt Disney's Tomorrowland. Mr. Haber has a very interesting experiment to show us here as we stand in front of this giant aluminum telescope, which was built especially for the Disneyland show. Go ahead, Doctor, please well, tell uh, us about it. Well, I must just explain to these kids that I have here an atom of uranium. I see. But of course, it's only a loaded mousetrap. It is, isn't it? <laughs> but the two things have one in common. They contain energy. It can be released by a trigger like this. Oh, yes. You could say that this is splitting Adam. Yes, we have that around home. <laughs> this is your son and daughter? Yes. She's my daughter. Very nice. Nice to see you, But kid. now, when an atom splits, it releases two neutrons. I see. The famous atomic particles that are found in the interior of atomic nuclei. I see. If they split, they are given off. Like ah. this. Watch. Yes, they're given off right toward the camera, too. <laughs> yes, people are very much interested in these things. Yes. And this is Come why on, here in Tomorrowland, we are presently preparing a show for you that tells all about the atom and what the atomic age will be like in the future. I see. You see, nature's energy comes from the atom, too. Mm -hmm. Through atomic energy, we get solar heat. And through sunshine, clouds, and rain, we are getting water power. I see. And with water power, we produce electricity for our show. Right. Now, soon we can do this in a shortcut with the atomic pile that will be able to produce for us electricity. Now to show you how a pie looks inside, I have here on this table over a hundred mouse traps, and they're all loaded and ready to go. Now you can imagine what happens if I throw just one neutron ping pong ball into this pile of loaded traps. It triggers one, it gives off neutrons, and it triggers further, and finally the whole pile will go off in a few seconds. Well, that's amazing. And this yeah. is a chain reaction. Would you like to start it? Well, Bob? well, I, no, I, I don't think that I should do that. I'm a little <laughs> shocked. Say, why don't we just have your son standing right here, uh, Doctor? Why don't you start the chain reaction with the ping pong ball to demonstrate to our audience? Okay. Huh? Stay back, everybody. Well, try again. Try again. <laughs> Now, what you have seen here with the mouse traps and the ping pong balls is an important part of your future, the power of the atom. 
And if you throw up, be certain that you use it wisely.